in this question, we're looking at sound levels and power and sound waves and figuring out the power of a loudspeaker from the sound level at a, at a, a point near where the speaker is placed. So we're looking at uh, question number 74 on the, the page here. So the, the sound level 8.25 meters from a loudspeaker placed in the open is 115 decibels. What is the acoustic power output of the speaker, uh, assuming it radiates equally in all directions? Okay, so now let's assume we've got our speaker here, something like this, and what's happening is it's radiating sound outwards, and we're at a distance 8.25 meters away from it. So let's just say we're standing here, and what we're trying to figure out is what is the uh, power output of the speaker based on the fact that we're measuring 115 decibels at this point here. So we know that the sound level, or the sound output, is going to be equal to 10 times the log of the intensity over I0, which is sort of the, the baseline intensity, if you like. Um, so that's 10 times the log of I over I0. So for these problems, typically what we do use for I0 is the threshold of human hearing. So we're, we're measuring um, you know, sound signals in decibels. The I0 here is the threshold of human hearing. So we're going to get the power output from the sound intensity. So first of all, before we calculate what the power output of the speaker is, we need to figure out what is the sound intensity at this point um, and then work out the power from there. Or you know, work out the sound intensity, work out the power from there. So using that equation, then we get 115, whoops, 115 decibels. Uh, okay, we'll put the decibels in there, is equal to uh, 10 times the log of i over i naught. So we want to solve for i. So when we have the intensity, then we can solve for the power. So i then becomes, when we get rid of the log, we get 10 to the power of 11.5 times i0. And that becomes 10 to the power of 11.5, which is a sort of a strange number to have as a power, times the threshold of human hearing, which is commonly taken to be 1.0 by 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared. So that's an intensity, which is a power per unit area, and its um, its units are watts per meter squared. So when we do that little calculation, we get 3.162 by 10 to the minus 1 watts per meter squared. So that 115 decibels translates into a sound intensity of 3.162 by 10 to the minus 1 watts per meter squared. Now what we want to figure out is what is the power, you know, based on that intensity. So intensity, we said, is power per unit area. So power per unit area. Well, what, what area are we we're talking about here? So what, what we're talking about is, let's change the color uh, quickly. Well, red will do. So the sound radiates from this point, And as we know, it radiates outwards. And it basically draws a circle out in space. So, you know, we could take this as the arc of a circle here. And if we've got the radius, so we know what the radius is at the point we're standing, it's 8.25 meters. So we can figure out the area of, you know, the sphere of sound that's coming out. And that's the, the area that we're looking for. So we're looking at, you know, what's the area at 8.25 meters? That's going to allow us to calculate the power. So if we rearrange that equation then, okay, let's go back to black pen rearrange that equation we get p is equal to i times a so that's i times a is 4 pi r squared times a because it's a sphere and the surface area of our sphere is 4 pi r squared we can put that in there now we've got that gives us 4 pi times what's the radius well the radius is this 8.25 meters which is how far we are away or you know where we're measuring our 115 decibels so that's 8.25 meters squared is the surface area of our sphere at that point. And the last thing we need then is that intensity, which we measured to be 3.162 by 10 to the minus 1 watts per meter squared. So we solve that then for uh, I. So I is what we're looking for. The um, Sorry, P is what we're looking for, the power. So this is, this is what we're solving for here. And that comes out to be 270.45 watts and if we look back at the question here we see that we're going to need based on this 8.25 and the 115 decibels we're going to need three significant figures 
So that's going to be equivalent to 270 watts, which is our answer to this one. So based on the sound intensity that we measure at a particular point in a concert hall or something like that, we can work out the power of the um, speaker that's outputting that signal.